Hello everyone. I hope everyone's doing well today. My name is Master Mehdi, and I'm a sophomore here at American International School, Dhaka. Today, I'm here to talk about solar energy and the potential it has to transform Bangladesh's energy future. I would like to first start off by asking a question. Do you know how much energy we consume every day? Well, whether it's this projector, laptop, lights, or other everyday objects, energy consumption plays a crucial role in our everyday lives. Now, this energy is good, but what if this energy could be better? If there could be a clean, renewable, and affordable energy for all? This is where solar energy comes in, as it is a sustainable solution to both environmental and economic challenges. I'll now transition into the potential solar energy has in Bangladesh. Bangladesh, a country of 170 million people, has been a nation heavily reliant on fossil fuels for its consumption. The pie chart behind me showcases the two key leading areas where fossil fuel consumption has remained at an all-time high. As you can see, the residential sector was responsible for 56.6%, uh, while the industrial sector was responsible for 28.4%. And these numbers have only increased. As since 2021, there's been a more than 20% increase in the residential sector and a more than 15% increase in the industrial sector. The bar graph behind me showcases how this energy has grown since 2021. To put some more perspective, even in August 2024, during nationwide protests and disruptions, energy consumption grew by 7%. Now, this connects to a larger issue of climate change, but putting it in simple words, the higher the temperature rises, the more energy we consume. But why do these problems persist? While there isn't a single answer to this issue, there are several key reasons. Firstly, the lack of space. Bangladesh was ranked the most densely populated country in the world, with 1,330 people per square kilometers. And since its independence, it has always had a strong initiative for urbanization. This led to infrastructure development with balancing economic growth, but which became a difficult task. In other words, it's hard to build a thriving economy while also addressing environmental concerns. This is when non-renewable options, which may have better initial benefits, can seem more attractive, especially in the beginning. But what can be done about this? While the challenges remain, there's been promising efforts to expand solar energy in Bangladesh. Firstly, Bangladesh's government has set an initiative to generate 10% of its electricity to renewable energy by 2030. Additionally, there's more and more requirements for factories to expand on renewable energy and reduce their fossil fuel consumption. But how is this being implemented? The infrastructure development company in Bangladesh has already installed several solar panels across rural communities Furthermore, private companies have made significant efforts to expand solar power. As you can see behind me, this is one of the largest solar power plants in Bangladesh, which has the, a capacity of 110 megawatts, and it provides energy to factories and homes near the area. Now, in the beginning, I mentioned I would discuss the economic impact of solar energy. Addressing a common concern is solar energy is often seen as expensive, which is why many hesitate to invest in it. While it is true the initial startup cost of solar energy can be expensive, and this upfront investment can push many away from pursuing solar energy, solar energy actually becomes much cheaper than fossil fuel energy in the long term, as the cost per watt for coal or other non-renewable sources will likely surpass that of solar over a period of 10 to 15 years. This is because although the initial cost of solar energy is high, solar energy has very low ongoing costs, with minimal maintenance required. On the other hand, coal energy has very high ongoing costs due to the infrastructure needed to support it. Additionally, solar energy will help bring jobs in manufacturing, installation, maintenance, and research. Now, all this being said, I would like to share why I'm here today. It is to spread awareness of this matter through my project, Empower Solar, which focuses on spreading awareness to all individuals of the benefits, hurdles, and other causes for renewable energy, as it is not spoken about enough within Bangladesh. The lack of awareness leads to slow implementation of renewable energy in the country. I try to spread this awareness by running workshops and creating online content that educates people about the benefits of renewable energy. Through workshops and creating online content, I strive to break down the complexities of renewable energy and empower individuals to make informed decisions. I believe that spreading this awareness will help accelerate a shift towards a more sustainable and economically viable future for Bangladesh. In conclusion, and connecting back to the theme of thinking again, Solar energy challenges us to rethink our reliance on traditional fossil fuels. Even for Bangladesh, while the GDP per capita can be relatively low, 
the long-term economic benefits I mentioned today outweigh the initial hurdles. It encourages us to step away from the old ways of thinking and embrace new sustainable solutions. The challenges I mentioned today may seem daunting, but they're by no means impossible to overcome. Through my initiative, I'm taking small but significant steps towards educating individuals. But the real power lies within all of us. We all have the ability to create change, to think of our traditional methods, and to build a more sustainable future. Thank you for listening.